hello everybody so this is the second video of italk so here i am going to uh, give you the definitions of some uh, important uh, uh, objects like idoc message type basic types and then i'll talk about the configuration required so first thing is idoc so idoc is intermediate document and uh, the definition says is a data container used to exchange information between two systems so two systems can be sap and non sap and the document can be inbound and outbound and uh, the document uh, here is uh, mainly purchase order delivery invoice sales order so any document can be sent and received and uh, i have put a speaker sign so once you have explained this uh, definition in your interview you can talk your own bits um, after these two uh, or three lines the next definition is message type so what is message type message type talks about what kind of document you are going to send or receive so it can be again order delivery or invoice so message type just gives the name of the uh, business document so example can be orders for purchase order desadv for inbound delivery and invoice for invoice so in sap you will find just as a given name for the uh, business uh, document the important thing is basic types or idoc type so this is the main container of idoc so it contains the information starting from header information line item schedule line uh, text information so all the information is scattered in various segments and those segments actually keep the uh, value of the uh, document fields so the definition says uh, uh, basic type defines the structure of an idoc idoc structure contains various segments like header details line item details schedule line details text details business document information is stored in segment fields like purchase order number vendor number material number quantity so the examples are purchase order basic type orders 05 uh inbound delivery basic type delivery delivery 05 and invoice is invoice invoice 02 i'm talking about uh, the basic type here you see uh e1 edk01 and uh, rest of the segments and uh, uh, here in the bottom e1 edp01 for line item so this is the uh, basic type it looks like this so i'll suggest in interview you go with this easy definition and uh, you can add your stuff uh, uh, where, wherever it says a speaker okay so once you have uh, said uh, the definition you add your own uh, items um, to explain explain in more detail now to trigger the idoc for purchase order output uh, there are four steps mainly uh, two steps are uh, uh, configuration from uh, Uh, output type side and uh, three and four is uh, from uh, idoc uh, side so first uh, configure output type example zdic so this is in message determination and the path is given like this so message uh, type for purchase order so in my case output type is zidc so i am here in spro materials management and then purchasing then messages here and then output control and then define message schema okay this is my schema and it contains two output types zidc and zprt now this schema is assigned to the application see so in this application uh, i have to assign my schema which is zal irs and it contains the output type zdic now the second point is to create the condition record for this output types so that when you create the purchase order this output type is picked so to create condition record you come to transaction mn04 and give your output type so in my case this is zidc hit enter and uh, for the combination of purchase group and vendor uh, 
so i have already created i am just showing you what is the important thing so for uh, this purchasing group and vendor go and uh, put the vendor number an important thing is medium should be six which is edi electronic data interchange means idoc and this field which is uh, uh, dispatch time it should be sent immediately okay when save when saving the application so as soon as you create the purchase order the output type will be triggered and the idoc will be sent next thing is to create partner profile in transaction we20 so this is the main thing of the configuration which is responsible for idoc generation if it's not there the idoc will not be generated so to create partner profile go to transaction we20 select partner type li vendor and press this button create enter the partner number i mean the vendor number here partner type li and some of the information like organizational unit edi department english so this is like uh, i mean this is the user uh, information i mean uh, it will be uh, provided in the idoc i mean this user is sending okay so hit enter okay and save from the top So you see here in the bottom, I mean this vendor is appearing here as a partner. Now press this plus button because this is outbound parameter. So we are sending the IDOC out. So press this plus button. So here I have given three uh, information. This is the message type orders. Uh, this is the port. So you select any port available. So this is the required field and this is the basic type so the structure of this basic type idoc type will be filled and uh, here these are output uh, mod i mean collect idocs or just uh, uh, send it uh, immediately or um, now the important thing is here okay messages message control uh, package size is also required now go to the messages tab message control okay in message control tab press this button plus okay and give the application as a ef for purchase order message type is our output type from the purchase order and the process code we are going to use me10 and you can check this button in case of change of idoc as well now uh, just save press save button so partner profile is created and it looks like this this is our uh, uh, message type yeah. uh, while entering the uh, i mean uh, creating the partner profile we need to give this uh, partner role as well vn yeah so finally the partner profile for this vendor ending with the 824 looks like this so partner role is vn message type is orders and basic type is order 05 and its message type is me 10 okay so guys uh, while making this uh, partner profile don't uh, um, tick this change button just save it okay so for testing the idog i am here in me 21 n transaction creating the purchase order and uh, i have filled all the information if i go to the messages so i see that uh, output type z idc is picked here so if i save now so purchase order number ending with 402 is been created okay if i go to transaction w05 now to check the i dog so the latest i dog ending with 270 is my latest i dog double click it so in the segment e1 edk01 which is header segment you can see the purchase order number is uh, highlighted here so for this purchase order we have created the idoc successfully in the final video i'll uh, try to summarize uh, the linking how the idoc is triggered and generated thank you very much